Yo, no lie, this might be my favorite wheel and tire cleaner. Just look at all that browning. It's crazy. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Gloss Garage where we make detail and simple. My name is Sock and today I have something special for you guys. So today we're going to be uh, reviewing the wheel and tire cleaner from Maniac as well as their Ceramic Ultra Speed Wax. So pretty much I've heard nothing but great things on the wheel and tire cleaner. It is diluted one to 10 on summer dirt or if it's summertime, one to five for winter detailing and then one to three for heavy caked on dirt and brake dust. So I'm excited to try this out. Today we're gonna to be diluting it one to five, which I have it already diluted here to save some time. But pretty much if you guys wanna understand how to do dilution ratios, I'll put it down below in the description. But we use one to five, pretty much we put 26 and like a, a quarter of, of water and then we filled up the rest with the solution here so that way we could go ahead and clean the wheels and tires also for the ceramic ultra speed wax there's not a lot of videos on this but it smells really good it reminds me kind of like a barbershop type of smell like um like the alcohol mixed with the baby powder it just it, it just smells elegant in a way so I'm, uh, I'm excited to try this out as a drying aid, but the premise of this is pretty much, it is it's a, a ceramic infused with also carnauba wax, but the main purpose of this, it gives that warm carnauba glow, but it gives that SiO2 type of protection, which is it's about three months on this type of thing. It's more of like a quick detailer, or probably two months. But I'm excited to go ahead and try that out. Always, when you mix your products, just make sure you use distilled water. That way, if you're leaving it inside your garage months at a time, it's not gonna go ahead and come back with the chemical and it just stays pure and clean as possible and you have an extended shelf life for sure. Also, I did purchase this on Black Friday and this is their exterior brush if you guys haven't seen the unboxing. But go ahead and check that video out of Labo Cosmetica and the Maniac line that I went ahead and unboxed that I purchased on Black Friday. They had a 30% uh, sale on all their chemicals. But pretty much for this is a very soft brush. I just wanna know if it's really chemical resistant and I'm gonna put this inside my wheel bucket to see how long it withstands over time. No matter how hard I press, it just feels super soft. And yeah, so my vehicle is dirty. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and also, I know I put this inside a sprayer, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside a foamer. Once I'm done testing it, the normal way, which 90% of people will dilute it this way and put it in the trigger sprayer. But I'm also gonna go ahead and put it in an IK foamer. I'll just dump this inside the IK foamer and then we'll do the test from there. So all the products will be down below in the description. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and of course, get started with the wheels and tires. I'm going to fast forward the whole washing process once I'm done with the wheels and tires, just to go ahead and see my thoughts on the Ultra Speed Wax. Once I'm done, I'll go ahead and kick the video back on. But pretty much, this is the wheels and tires. And we're gonna go ahead and see how well this goes and see if there's any browning. So it foams up pretty nicely, as you see right away, even with the just the sprayer alone. And it smells very nice. It's not it's not like a caustic type of smell like the Adams wheel and tire cleaner. So letting it dwell for a little bit, probably like a good 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And it literally smells, it just smells good while you're working with it. It doesn't make you want to cough. But I'm gonna go ahead and probably move you guys up just a little bit. But you see there's already some browning. It's pulling off a lot of that brown dirt and grime and if I agitate that's a lot of browning so that's how much browning is pulling off the wheels and tires so next you see this nice little soft brush just just to see it and it's nice it's a nice brush it's stiff enough, but it's super soft and it gets even softer in the water. That's, that's very nice. All right, so that type of brush will be great for like the emblems if you wanna clean in between the emblems. 
but yeah so it's just a quick little rinse and we're gonna go ahead rinse this off and do a second pass on the tires itself but damn that's a lot of browning look at all that all right next up i'm gonna do one more pass and see how well it goes and then we'll fast forward straight to the foam wear. i'm just gonna do one more pass on the tires itself see if it takes out more browning It's a very pleasant smell to work with. I'm like, whew, that smells really nice. Man, it's not a lot of browning. Still pulling off browning, but it's not as much as before. So two passes for sure. This is very clean. This did a very good job at cleaning the wheels and tires. And it's still dripping a little bit more of that browning off, which is fantastic but it's not as crazy as before. So I know for sure this is a clean tire. So let's go ahead and move on and use the foamer in itself to see how well it cleans the other tire. We're gonna clean up this front tire. We're gonna use the IK foamer. I rinsed it out, cleaned it out, and I'm just gonna dump the rest in here just because it's the correct dilution ratio. So let's see if it actually foams up. And see my verdict so we're gonna go ahead and foam this up so foaming action is great for it to be a one to five dilution ratio that is some amazing foam you can even clean the wheel wells if you want i know i didn't do that on the other side but that's because i didn't have a foamer but look at that thick foam that is wow that's fantastic foam that is some really nice foam for it to be a one to five dilution ratio. If you guys haven't seen my video before of applying a little bit of, you know, car soap or something like that to make it foam up more, it is not necessary in this case. And just look at the browning, just pulling all that dirt and grime off. So I'm gonna let it dwell more. It's turning yellow. That is fire. That's some fire, that, that's, that's great. And you even see the dirt just coming off and running off. Look how nice and white it's turning, or just clean, not necessarily white. So I'm gonna go ahead and agitate this. And it's still it's still yellowing and browning, it's taking all that blooming off. And it's a very affordable wheel and tire cleaner. Just look at that. That's just look at it oh man that looks nice that's nice does it stain concrete i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and give that a shot because you know stoners really let me down oh i got a piece of leaf Get that go ahead and clean this up just real quick i may do two passes mainly on the tires though i'm gonna go ahead and clean the wheel well it even took off the browning inside the wheel well is it safe for ceramic coated vehicles i am not too sure or ceramic coated wheels i'm not too sure that's something i may have to go ahead and call maniac on but i'm pretty sure it is uh if, if you have a ceramic coating it's supposed to be chemical resistant so i don't see any issues so let me rinse this off and show you more of that browning look at all that everything that it pulled off so go ahead rinse this off probably do one more pass just on the tires themselves see if there's more browning but it just does a fantastic job we just do this so we don't bore people it just smells so freaking good. Jesus. Yo, this wheel and tire cleaner just smells spot on. Use this brush just so I look more professional. Oh, shoot. Look at that. Oh, you cleaned the lug nuts. The emblem. But this brush is really nice. Like I said, it's really stiff. And also, one thing I must say, this is super slick. Um, it's very, it's, it's super slick. 
this uh, wheel and tire cleaner. Look at that. Nice and pretty much white. So we removed everything in one pass at a one to five dilution ratio. That is, that's crazy. In a one to five dilution ratio, we pretty much removed all, all that dirt and grime. I'm just gonna let it dwell more, but for sure, after this, you don't need to do two or three other passes to go ahead and get this result. So I'm gonna fast forward the rest and we're gonna move on to me using the ultra speed wax. All right, so the vehicle is washed. So let's go ahead and see the verdict on the ceramic ultra speed wax. So these are my first impressions. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this like I normally would as any drying aid. As for the water, it just goes ahead and just like flattens it out and it just starts running off the paint. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer once I'm done drying this uh, this part, but let's see how it feels. And I, rookie mistake, spray your towel as well and see if it feels slick. And yes, it does. It does feel, it does feel nice. It does feel slick. Is it crazy game changing? Slick? No, but once I dry that panel, let me flip this towel over and see for the final buff. And now, wow. Now it's super slick. So the initial slickness is not there when you're drying, using it as a drying aid, but the buff off once you do the second wipe, it's crazy slick. And just look at that glow. Nice gloss and shine. So let me bring you in closer on this side, on this fender. And we're gonna focus on the water area right here. So look what happens to the water when I spray it. One spray, two sprays, and it's already just wanna run off. So I'm gonna dry this area, I'm spray on the towel. And it is slick, like I said, but not crazy slick until the final buff off. And this smell literally kind of reminds me as if I'm in the barber shop. And it's just super slick for the second buff off. It's crazy. So let me finish doing this around the car. Go ahead and see how this does on glass and if it leaves any streaks. So just one spray. I'm using the waffle towel because my towels are starting to get clogged up. But just one spray and look at that. Literally zero streaks, second buff off, super slick. So just a fantastic, it's just real, look how slick that thing is. It's super slick after the initial buff off. That's what I notice about it. Uh, like, yeah, like I said, after the initial buff off. So the initial buff off isn't really that, that slick. It's a little bit like grabby in a sense. It's slick, it's just, I don't wanna say grabby because that's the bad, bad term, but it's just, it's slick, but the second buff off, once you flip your towel over, it's fantastic. So that's what I wanted to show. Does it street glass? No, it does not, as you see right here. So yeah, that's about it. So let me finish up drying up the rest of the car. I got just that panel left, but the car is looking super glossy. All right, so the car is done. As you can see, nice and glossy. These are the wheels and tires without any protection. I just dried them. That's about it. That's how the tires look, nice and dark. So it did an amazing job. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some tire dressing on that. Just look at the gloss and shine. That's fire. other wheels and tires look. So far, I am very impressed. As you can see the glass. So overall, I am impressed. So let's go ahead and see what else Maniac and Labo has to offer. So I will be purchasing more stuff from them as well. All right, everyone, so you guys made it to the end of the video. So you guys see how nice and shiny and glossy the paint is and also how deep clean the wheels and tires were. So first off, let's go ahead and talk about which I really like about the product. So let's start off with the Maniac Ceramic Speed Wax. So pretty much you guys saw 
Um, initially, when I was saying as an initial drying aid, when you dry the vehicle with your towel, it's not super slick, it's not game changing. It is slick, but the initial slickness really comes in or kicks in after you flip your drying towel and do the final buff off. It is super slick. But also, I love the fragrance. It's just that elegant type of smell. And with just one to two sprays, it's going to last a very long time. This is probably gonna last me another like seven, eight washes for sure, probably 10 washes. I think this was about like 20 bucks. And this was during Black Friday, so it's a great deal for this. And then on top of that, also, it doesn't streak the windows. I, you guys saw me use a waffle uh, drying towel. It did not streak the windows whatsoever. So it's just a phenomenal, thing uh product for sure the only thing is that one thing it says is it can last up to four months if it's properly decontaminated and i'm guessing if you apply it dry just like any other type of sealant if you apply it dry it's going to last you obviously a lot longer not as a drying aid this will probably last about a month like any other typical drying aid out there but that's about it nothing bad to say about this yet so We'll go ahead and see more of this in the future. Now, the winner winner for the video is actually the wheel and tire cleaner from Maniac. So it's dilutable one to five. That's what I put it as, as a one to five dilution ratio. Of course, summertime, if you're out in Florida or whatever, you can do it in a one to 10 dilution ratio. So you're getting more value, but I like the one to five dilution ratio and it foamed up very nicely. And in a 32 ounce bottle, you're gonna put five ounces of this. They give you a liter. So I think a liter is like 30, 36 ounces maybe or 32 ounce but even then you have like six seven um times you could go ahead and use this and they had a black friday sale for this for only it being 13 dollars and this just destroyed brake buster by a long shot um especially at a one to five dilution ratio it performed better than brake buster and in my opinion it performed just as good as adam's wheel and tire cleaner that's you're supposed to use it straight so it's just a phenomenal value for this. It foams up very nice. I foamed my wheels and tires twice to get it nice and deep cleaned. And as you see, I could do a, at least two to three tires more. So it's just a phenomenal value for this. Um, this is really what took the cake for me, the way it took out that browning and everything off the wheels and tires. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys wanna see more of this type of videos, just let me know. I do have some Labo Cosmetica stuff, so just get ready to see those videos coming in soon. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.